If you're looking for a deck that is big, light, and strong, I might have the perfect deck for you, and it's coming up. Welcome back to Full Course Scootering. Um, today we are doing a review on the one and only Aztec Siren V2 deck. Now, the Aztec Siren is the world's first six wide deck. I'm gonna start from the head tube and go down to the tail of the deck. Starting up at the head tube, it is obviously integrated, just like any other deck out there. If it's not integrated, then you're probably buying some kind of weird deck. Yeah, it's it's integrated. Um, it has a lovely cutout here on the front, kind of cut down on some weight. I think it kind of looks cool too, because you can see your fork in there. Head tube is an 83 degree head tube angle, which is pretty much the standard nowadays for head tube angles. I know there's some companies dabbling with like 84 and like 83 and a half, but still I think 83 is about like the standard and it, it feels pretty good. Now they do make a 22 and a 23 version of this. I have the 22 without the com components and stuff back here. So like without the brake, the spacers, the axle, and I think without the deck ends, the deck comes three pounds, six ounces, I think. So it's actually pretty light for how big it is. That's just what I found out on the interweb. Now obviously it's gonna weigh a little bit more with all the accessories that it comes with. Now when you do get these decks, you it comes with spacers for 24 millimeter, 30 millimeter, and from what I have heard, you can run uh, 12 standard with it. So it's a very versatile deck. You can literally run whatever kind of wheel setup you want on here. It does have traditional Aztec like deck plugs on the end. They're not like built in, so when you go to like take your axle out and stuff like that, they do slide around in the deck. So you kind of kind of hold it and then get like your your axle through there. So you might be wondering, well, what happened to the uh, the AOS V5 that you were riding? Well, let's just say I had some problems with it, and I returned it, and I got this. Yeah, so far I've actually really enjoyed this deck. So I'll get into the things that I do and don't like about it. I guess the the uh, the head tube. Now, um, I do see a lot of these decks break, but I think it does take quite a while. And I think the reason because of that is a lot of companies they'll they'll move the head tube back a little bit so that way the head tube isn't right at the front of the deck and there's not as much, um, I guess flexibility up there so it doesn't break as easy but when you move the head tube back like that it minimizes your head or uh, your nose blunt space so with it being all the way up the, at the front there you have a lot of good nose blunt space at the front which yes this deck does do very good nose blunts it slides very good in nose blunts that also depends on if you run like 110s then they'll usually, it, the smaller the wheel, the bigger your nose blunt space is going to be. If you're going to run like 120s or like 125s, it's obviously going to make your, your nose blunt space a little bit smaller because it's a bigger wheel, so it's taking up more room up in the front, obviously. Over crooks. So we'll flip it over here on the bottom. You wouldn't really think that there would be a, I mean, I don't really know if it's a purposely made over crook groove, but because the deck kind of has like that, this, this, spot right up in here um, when you go to get into over crooks i can feel it just kind of like lock into that spot and then it just slides really good on it this is probably one of the best over crook decks i've ever ridden because i've been i've been practicing with over crooks for a long time and i learned uh i got over crook heel out within like at least like the first 20 tries and they also cut out the bottom here kind of like a TSI to cut out some more weight. The concave on Aztec decks are they've always been a lot a lot of concave and I don't I don't know I don't like a lot of concave but I don't like too little of concave like I like it in the middle and these have a lot of concave to them so it's not really my favorite but that also goes for personal preference um, everybody likes different things about different decks 
Some people like no concave, some people like extreme concave. It's just what you prefer. But for me, uh, a little, little bit of less concave for me. 50-50s. Um, obviously, it's a six wide, so you shouldn't have any problem with 50-50s. Um, but the bottom, if you see, um, the deck kind of uh, tapers a bit on the sides. So I think the bottom is actually 5.8. Um, so yeah, the, the top of the deck is wider than the bottom of the deck. It took me a little bit to get used to doing 50-50s on it, getting into it. Um, <laughs> if you go to my Instagram, you'll see me um, riding this and I was trying to hit a round rail. Twice in a row I just missed it and just kissed the rail. Um, I had to get used to it. Um, a lot of people, I don't, I don't know, everybody probably gets used to decks differently. Um, this is actually my first six wide that I've ever ridden as my own. It took a little bit to get used to, but now that I'm comfortable with it, I, don't, I almost don't even want to go back to like a 5.5 because it's just, it's so light and it just feels so good. Five O's on it um, because it's so wide. Six wide decks are honestly like the best to learn five O's on just because you have a lot of room to, to play with for like if you mess up and all that. It's They get into five O's very, very easily. The deck ends are really just there to, I guess, protect the, the end of the deck because the bottom of the deck actually kind of curves around them. I haven't really used them, I guess. Um, and the the inside of the deck ends are actually a hexagon, so whatever side you put your um, your your nut in, um, it'll hold it, and then like you, you can put your your axle through, and you can tighten it up, and you don't have to hold a wrench in there or anything to to get it tight. the The deck end just holds it in place for you. If you don't even want to run the deck ends, you can take them out and run a smaller axle. It'll help with whips and all that. All right, we're going to talk about board slides next. Normally for me, when I do board slides, I, I typically do them, I, I'm more balanced, more up at the front of the deck up here. And for some reason, now I don't know if it's just like the way that my setup is, like with like my bar ratio and all that, like the weight distribution. The deck almost makes me board slide like perfectly right in the middle. Now, I don't know if that's just like the way that the balance of the deck or what, but it helps people learn board slides better, I feel like, like the, the proper way. I don't know, it just has like a really good feeling to it. So definitely like one of the best like board sliding decks I have ever experienced. It just forces you to just get it right in the middle of the deck instead of like up front. Yeah, that's about everything I wanted to talk about about this deck. I believe this deck is still about $200. Um, you know, you can obviously pick yours up from Beamer's Action Sports, which is who I am sponsored by, and they support this channel a whole bunch. So if you shop through them, you will be supporting this channel. And if you do, thank you. So if you haven't ridden a six wide and you're curious about it, this is definitely a good one to go with. Um, the new deck that Aztec has is the Lucid deck, and from what I've heard from everybody is that one is super weak, it bends really easy and all that. I've heard a lot of good things about these Siren decks, and from my experience, I really enjoy it. You can follow us on Instagram at Full Court Scootering, you can follow me at Brandino, and you can follow Beamer's Action Sports on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna showcase a few um, tricks with this deck and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. doing this yet. Ow. That was so stupid. 